Okay, I think we're recording now. I'm going to close this so it doesn't zoom into oblivion. All right, so we are here back at the VHF desk, and we're going to talk a little bit more about APRS packet radio. Um, if you are a Yaesu FTM 400 or FTM 100 owner, you have just about everything you need to become an APRS iGate. Uh, why would you want to do that? So an APRS iGate is kind of like a digipeter with no transmit capabilities. So uh, it's just a receiver. So everyone in your immediate region who's transmitting APRS packets, it'll be picked up by your iGate and then forwarded to the internet for further processing. So an example of that uh, would be um, if you go out to APRS.fi, um, all of that data there, all of those objects and people walking around and messaging, um, all of that's using the APRS information service called APRSIS. Um, so if you're an iGate, you're basically feeding that database with all of the local APRS traffic in your region. Um, so if you want to send an APRS message on your walk somewhere with your HT, um, you could send it to someone in Switzerland, uh, a message. And uh, when you transmit, your iGate will pick that up, forward it to the APRS information service, and that will relay it to APRS transmitters in Switzerland, so your intended target uh, could pick that up. And of course, APRS has all kinds of cool capabilities. You can do email with it. You can do SMS texting. Um, it's not just for position reporting. You know, a lot of people think it's just for position reporting. It's really not. Um, so let, let's see if we can put something like this together. So I have an FTM 400 here. This also works on the 100. And if you look in your box on your FTM 100 or 400, you'll notice there's this cool cable. It's actually a, a USB to serial cable. Um, and this will take the APRS packet data from your radio and transfer it into a Raspberry Pi or PC. doesn't matter. You can go either way. Um, and then I've got this this script called Ygate, uh, which you're looking at here. Uh, Ygate, that's not, yeah, the Y is for Yesu. And it'll basically convert uh, the packets being sent from, from your Yesu radio through the serial cable into your PC or Pi and convert them into APRS packets uh, for uh, and send them onto the internet to the APRS information service for further processing. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate how to do that here. Um, so the first thing that you want to be aware of uh, if you want to do this yourself is you go out to GitHub and search for Ygate and that's uh, uh, Yankee Golf Alpha Tango Echo is, is the name of this. And it's just a really a simple Python script that I put together. Um, it, it just converts the NMEA uh, uh, GPS sentences and and rearranges re them into a valid uh, AX.25 uh, APRS packet. Um, that's, that's all it really does. And, this, and the source is, is pretty simple. Um, so let's say you're on your PC or Pi, and this could be anything. This could be Windows, it could be Linux, um, it could be anything that runs a Python interpreter. And uh, you, you open a, a command prompt on that, and I want you to, uh, actually I can get it from right here. When we want to clone something, we can click on the code button and then click on copy. And then I'm going to do, let me uh, ignore what I'm doing right now. This is from a, a previous test. I'm going to remove this directory. And I'm going to, okay, this is what you want to do, git clone, and the thing I just pasted from that uh, Ygate uh, git website, and we'll clone into Ygate, hopefully you can read this, um, I'm going to do an ls, which shows the directory, so a new directory was created called Ygate, I'm going to cd into the, change directory into the Ygate directory, I'm going to do an ls again, um, and now I can just run Ygate, um, but before I do that, I want to make sure I hook up this uh, cable to my FTM 100, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of the way here, and I'm gonna show you what we got going on here. Hopefully this works, and I'm going to uh, make sure we can see the radio here. This is this is gonna be kind of crazy here. This is the open broadcast server. So this is my FTM 400. Um, I've got it tuned to an APRS frequency, as you can see. Well, no, as you can't see it yet. Let me minimize this. All right, so this is tuned to an APRS frequency, as you can see here. And there's a, one or two things you got to do on the radio here. So I'm going to uh, hold down display, and I'm going to click on data. And I want you to click on COM port settings and make sure your radio looks a lot like this one. So you can see the speed is 9600 baud. The output is set to packet. Uh, the format is set to NMEA 9. Uh, these are, this is a GPS sentence format and uh, the filter to all. That's really all you have to remember. Um, 
you know, worst case, you might have to go click into APRS and uh, turn the modem on if you haven't already. Um, let me see if I can do that. Uh, there's a thing here called APRS modem somewhere. That needs to be on in order for it to start decoding things. Of course, I'm not going to see it here now that we've got this on. Trust me, there's a thing there in there in the APRS menu called APRS modem. And I'm going to look at this later and say, oh, there it was. It was there the whole time. I was staring right at it. And I even had my glasses on. APRS ringer, that's not it. <laughs> anyway, there it is. APRS modem. Uh, make sure that's set to on as well. So that's really the only thing you have to do to your uh, FTM 400 radio. That and make sure it's on 144 or zero. And in the background, you can see I'm actually running this on a Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm gonna, let me make sure this is... Uh, in the frame here so in the background over here you see my finger so this is a raspberry pi here um, that's the command prompt i have open uh, there's a little raspberry pi and then over here is the body of an ftm 400 that's the, the mic over there that we're not going to use and it's hooked up to my antenna over there. that's why it's way over there so i, I drag the uh, the control head over here so you can see what was going on so let me just uh, put that there and we can watch the radio um because you don't want to see me here. So let me uh, minimize the, the broadcast studio here. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention was this uh, this uh, nifty cable. This uh, I, I've got a couple of these now. And this is, the, again, the, this is the cable that came with your radio. So plug this into the back of your FTM 400 or 100. It's the same cable. And then the other end is a USB jack. So plug that into your PC or Pi. I've got one plugged in over here year you can see the, the pie and uh and that's it and then uh, and run ygate on whatever your radio is plugged into so in this in my case it's a raspberry pi and let me minimize this i bet you that's annoying to see my open broadcast studio there um, let me clear my screen so we just did a git clone to get ygate and i'm going to want you to edit uh the file called ygate.py because um, you need to put your call sign in there bi ygate.py and uh, down towards well towards actually it's towards the top there's a, there's three things that you need to edit that's user pass and position um, you'll see I put km6 xxx in there that's obviously not a thing this 000 isn't a password and then your position uh, this is uh, kind of an odd you know, this is north and west you're gonna to have to figure out how to generate a decimal form of your gps position because uh, this is what aprs information service wants so i'm going to edit all of these actually i've got them in a my paste buffer here i'm just going to cut and paste them to my things here to my settings and paste them in there okay so now we've got km 6 liw 5 my password you know you can generate your password there's ways to generate these online um, don't copy this. You don't win anything for knowing this. You can, anyone can generate a password for a call sign that happens to be the password associated with this call sign. And of course, uh, my position here in California. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I'm using VI as an editor. Uh, you know, maybe you like that. Maybe you don't. You can use Pico or something like that. So I just edited the file called Ygate. Um, now all we're going to do is uh, simply run it. So I'm going to type dot forward slash Ygate and hit return and we're going to see this thing connect to the aprs information service which it just did here um, it's logged into an aprs information server called t2ca east um, i think that's in california it's a tier 2 aprs server in california on the east side of california and it sent its login string um, to let you know where to get ygate of course on github.com slash craigerl slash ygate and we are already getting aprs packets um let's see we got w6zzy we, we picked up already you know i figured this would be like a dead uh, aprs <laughs> day of course so i did bring my ht here um you know when you're doing this kind of testing locally turn your power down on these you really don't want to overload uh, the front ends on these um so let's see uh, hopefully you can see the radio here let me probably shine a little light on it um now this is on aprs frequency and i'm just going to transmit a packet and we're going to see it show up in the y gate output so i'm going to transmit a beacon I just did, and you see on the screen here that KM6LYW sent a packet 
Um, this is the routing. This is APRS, you know, packet data. You do, you're not required to understand any of this. Uh, and this is a compressed um, format of my position. And then there's a message that I put in here. And these are the repeaters I listen to. So, you know, I listen to uh, the 805 network here in California. Or uh, when I'm way up in the Rubicon, it's a, it's a UHF uh, repeater up there. So we continue to see packets scroll through. This is actually kind of a slow APRS day. You know, I, I can send another one. Um, I just sent it, and it popped up again. So why is this interesting? I mean, you're just seeing APRS packets on your screen. It's kind of cool to see a packet go from <laughs> the the Yesu to your screen. Uh, but what this is really doing in the background is talking to the APRS information service. Um, if you go to APRS.fi, um, you're going to see it yourself pop up here. I'm going to, you know, I ignore what I'm doing. I'm just getting rid of some of these annoying weather stations, including mine. This gets rid of all these these blue ones, and you'll see KM6LYW-5 is actually here um, on APRS. .f, on APRS. .fi. Um, and you'll notice this little dude, this running man. This was the radio um, beacon that I just sent on that little Yesu HT. Um, this is me popping up there. Um, of course, I have some obfuscation on my GPS coordinates, so I'm actually right on top of the eye gate. You know, I'm in the same room. Um, but you can see that my packet was transmitted and picked up by my uh, eye gate, which is running Y gate, uh, by my Yesu radio. And of course, it's, I put an R on here because it's a receive only. Um, we're not transmitting because, um, you know, this is a super simple hardware solution, right? Click on that. I can type uh, info. Um, and this is the info about my eye gate. Um, I can see it's uh, there has been two stations heard officially by uh, my uh, I gate, uh, of course, me, <laughs> my little running man, and uh, this guy over here has been heard. Um, you won't always see all packets that you see on the terminal show up on APRS.fi. Um, it's usually first come, first serve. So I just so happen to be the first person to report uh, these packets that came in through the I gate. Um, you can also do show graphs. Um, you can see the amount of number of beacons that I've sent uh, recently. It looks like four in the last hour. And these are beacons sent to the APRS service. So, again, we're not transmitting on RF. Um, you do need a amateur radio license to do this, even though you haven't built a transmitter, but mostly because you need to log in with your call sign. And, you know, the packets you're relaying will probably pop up somewhere on an actual RF transmitter somewhere um, if they need to be repeated. Um, so that's APRS.fi. This is really cool. Um, you can see how all of your, you know, where your eye gate is, where your radios are, where your friends are. Um, you know, there's there's another actual uh, digipeter up here called G-Town. Yeah, hopefully you can you can read the, this map. Um, that's an that actual transmitter. But anyway, so we just built a receive only eye gate out of using nothing more than a uh, a Yesu FTM 400. Um, it would work with the FTM 100, um, and the, the, the cable that already came with it, it's just a USB to serial cable. Uh, we made a couple of changes on the actual FTM 400, uh, again, the data uh, settings, uh, the NMEA 9 sentences, 9600 baud, um, and then we also installed the Ygate software um, from GitHub, which was pretty simple. That was just with a simple Git clone. Um, and then we ran it. And again, this could be a Raspberry Pi. This could be your, your PC. I'm pretty sure this will run on Windows. I don't ever use Microsoft products, but there's no reason this wouldn't run on Windows so long as uh, you can get the, the device files working and whatnot. And then we had to make some changes to the ygate.py software to put in our call sign, our APRS password, um, and our actual position in the, in the funny GPS format. So as you can see, there's more packets rolling in here. Um, we've got some call sign called tank rolling in. I've never seen that one before. I doubt that's a real call sign. Uh, we got W6ZZY-2 saying all kinds of cool stuff again. Um, this, you know, this header information, I said you can ignore this, but um, everything like after the QAR here, this is actually, this is the name of my eye gate. So when I look at this, I know, uh, W6ZZY transmitted a packet. Um, it was relayed through K6FGA, and I know it was retransmitted through that because there's an asterisk there. And I know it was sent to the internet via an I gate called KM6LYW-5, and that's uh, that's our I gate here. Um, it's really that simple. So hopefully, 
this is enough stuff to get you started on building uh, your own eye gate. Um, you know, of course, you could do this with direwolf and audio cables and stuff. Um, but if since you know this already has uh, the cable that you need to plug into your PC or Pi between your Yesu radio, um, you you almost have all the hardware. Um, in fact. What else would you need? You just need the PC or Pi. That's that's really it. And you need the Ygate software. Um, so Ygate is in fact open source. Um, that's something I wrote uh, a little while back. It's it's really not too complicated. If you're a Python programmer, you know you can probably read it. If you want to learn Python, this is probably a good way to, to learn Python. But this is the source code to Ygate. You know it, the hardest part is reconfiguring the NMEA nine sentences that come from the Yesu radio because it, it doesn't just transmit what it hears over USB. It, it just doesn't. It sends them in this weird GPS format, and this code simply rearranges them back into the original APRS packet that it heard and forwards those on up to the internet. Well, anyways, I hope you found this useful. Um, we're always looking for contributors for this code. Um, again, I, the more eye gates that we have on. Uh, in the world, the better. The world can always use another eye gate. Yeah, some of them might be redundant. Um, you know, the faster eye gates will probably get credit for packets bef before the slower ones. Um, but it's just uh, great to have that level of redundancy out there um, to have uh, eye gates out in the world. So again, my name is Craig Lamparter, and this is uh, I am KM6LYW Kilo Mike Six Lima Yankee Whiskey, and um, I'm into. Uh, Packet radio, and I, I hope I hope you can build an eye gate. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you were able to, to get this going, uh, and let me know the name of your eye gate so I can go check it out on aprs.fi and make sure it's uh, it's uh, doing something cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Uh, again, KM6LYW. This is Craig. Have fun.